Okay, so we are here at the Teaching Learning Commons at KPU, and we are going to make an H5P resource together. So I've been asked to come to the Science and Horticulture Department into a math class and to give uh, an example of how I might use HP5 resources. So here you'll see that I'm using, I'm doing this independently, so I'm not doing this through Moodle or through WordPress, I'm doing it independently through the hp5.org website. So you can get your own account, this is my account here, and it's very simple to make a new resource. You just go under Create New Contact uh, Content, and in seconds, Oh, there we go. I didn't click that. It's going to ask us what kind of resource we want to make. So for this particular resource, I'm going to make an image hotspot. And I really love this particular um, function of the plugin here because I'm a visual thinker and math is a visual medium. And what you can do with hotspots is take any image and put uh, points that you can click on various places on the image that will open up a video or another image or text. So it turns it into an interactive uh, media. So I'm going to click on details and first it will tell you what it is. You can go and watch a demo first if you want, but I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to go right to use. All right, now, first thing I need to do is add the image that I want to make into an interactive media. And, oh no, which one of it, which one is, okay, let's take a look. I gotta scroll through here. Those are a bunch of shapes. I believe it's that image there, so I'm going to open that image and you can go in and add the copyright information you can edit the image if you need to crop it or take anything out and then you can choose the color of your hot spot I'm just gonna go with this fuchsia pink color here I dig it and then there's a few things you have to fill in so the alternative text for background image this is what you put um, if for some reason the image can't be displayed. So I'm gonna call this uh, geometry hotspot exercise. Now, I have to decide where I want the hotspots to be. And because I'm so incredibly terrible at math, I found this, it looked simple enough, but I actually don't really remember what most of this means because I haven't taken a math class since 1991. So instead I thought I would just have some fun with it. So this is the first hotspot that I'm going to put. So I'm going to click on here and you can see that green dot is the hotspot. And the header here is I'm going to talk about pi pi. And you'll know why I'm calling it that in just a moment. So now what kind of content I'm going to add an image. It's going to ask me what kind of image I want to add and somewhere in here, ah, there's my pie. I'm going to add a pie. So there's my pie pie. And then in case if the image can't load, we're going to call it pi pi and I'm really hoping that I'm spelling the word pi correctly <laughs> okay if I'm not you can connect with me through the WordPress site and let me know that I need to change my spelling hover text I'm just gonna put the same thing just in case all right now I'm gonna add another hotspot this time I'm going to select this triangle triangle 
Here's my content image. I'm going to use a pyramid this time. Do, 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 do. Here's my pyramid. Double click on that to open it up. Pyramid. I believe that's correct. Oh, it's not. Pyramid. Yes. Thank you. Spell check. Pyramid. There we go. There's the image. Add a third hotspot. This time I'm going to go here. I'm going to call this bridge math. I'm going to pull up another image. I'm going to add this bridge made out of Lego that I thought was really awesome. Bridge math and bridge math. All right. So now we're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to press save. And it's going to tell us if we missed anything. So I thought we had put the title in here, but that's OK. Geometric hotspot quiz. Let's just call it that. OK, anything else that we missed? Doesn't look like it. Scroll down and save. Whoop. There we go. And here it is. So you can see, unfortunately, it's not going to fit on the screen here. Ah. If I go full screen, there we go. Voila. So now you can see, here's the three hotspots that we added. And I'm going to click on the first one. And there's our pie. So if you need to know how to measure this piece of pie, you can use this formula here. If you want to know how they built the pyramids, then you can see here's the pyramids right there. And then if you need to know how to build a bridge, which of course you're going to need to do, then here is a bridge. And this is the formula that you would use. And so you can see that there's many different ways that you could use this kind of an interactive medium to enhance the learning experience for your students. You could be putting in, for each of these hot spots, you could also be adding in um, voice of yourself, explaining what each of these formulas is, and how they're used. You could uh, put links to videos in here, or you could put actual videos in here showing somebody really cutting a pie, or um, somebody talking about the pyramids. So you can just add so much depth and meaning to what was probably a pretty simple worksheet. So there it is. This is just one of many really cool interactive projects that you can create using H5P. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can contact me at the Teaching and Learning Commons at KPU. You can email me through the WordPress site or the blog, or you can just email me directly at gordon.cobb at kpu.ca. Thanks for joining me today, and let's make more together next time.